Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We do have the spring birthday, I think 10 year birthday, FabFitFun box. And then whatever in the world's in this box because I did not order anything in a sale. FabFitFun is a seasonal lifestyle subscription box. It is the first box I ever unboxed on this channel, and it is probably the reason this channel still exists because I got like snowballed into subscription boxes. I did not start the channel with subscription boxes. I think I started with like some travel videos of like packing, some makeup videos. You can still find some old ones. Please don't. They're so cringy, but you can still find some of them out there. Uh, now it's a subscription box channel. Actually, it's really just like an information channel because I guess I do some other things too, but subscription box is the main focus. FabFitFun is near and dear to me. It is also still the subscription box that I recommend the most, especially if you are starting out. Nothing ever like has blown me away recently. They used to have some where I would just like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. For example, they had a rose gold 111 skin mask that it's like a face mask skincare mask, not skin mask, not made out of skin, skin care mask. When you talk too fast, this is what happens. That was one of my like holy grail masks and I used to get it in their sales all the time and then it was in their box twice and for me when those came in, I'm like, oh my gosh, because that brand is just so expensive for skincare but it's a really good brand. Then they had unhide little marshmallows. They've actually had them for a while. The pillow behind me is an unhide pillow. Last winter they had an unhide pillow. I have so many of them, honestly. Like just in this room where I'm sitting right now, I can see three different ones and I'm in my filming room, not even in a room where I use blankets. So if that gives you somewhat, you can try to extrapolate how many total I have, you know? So there's always some show-stopping item like that for me and lately I haven't seen that. So even though that is happening, I used to get two boxes, now I only get one for that reason, because I don't want two of the same item anymore. People ask me all the time, am I unhappy with FabFitFun? I'm still so, so happy. I always get my money's worth. There's always good quality items in here. It's just different than it used to be, and I loved the way that it used to be. So I hope that explains a little better. It's still gonna be the one that I recommend if you're like, I'm new to subscription boxes, which one should I try? I usually would say this, like if a friend asked me, this is the one I would say. Enough chatting about it, let's open it. And again, if you didn't see my live video, I did a very short live video, not on this beautiful camera, but on my phone, because there was no way for me to edit. I broke my computer screen, basically. I broke like the whole laptop really, but yeah, it was just having a lot of technical difficulties and I was not able to edit. And because of not being able to edit, I gotta take a little break from YouTube. My laptop broke. <laughs> And then I went to Mexico, enjoyed that time with my friends. Then I got sick. So then I was a week of being sick. And then I didn't order my lap my new laptop until after I was sick. And I got a little break, but some people take breaks for their mental health. Like, oh, it's stressful editing. And like, you know, I care about all the likes and I don't actually care about all the likes. Uh, I used to. And now I just care that at least one person wanted to watch. So if that's you, thank you. But for me, it actually feels like because I have an anxiety disorder, when I'm creating and editing, that's something that I'm like focusing on. And I feel like it makes my mental health better. So taking the break is not always good. It just is for some people. And it depends on how you view social media. And then like, honestly, when I make TikToks, they're so stupid and like 15 to 20 seconds, but there's just like a good feeling after I did it. Like I completed something, you know? And then it's an added bonus when you guys also enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm just so ranty today, but that's probably because I haven't been on camera for way, way, way too long. So, oh, I forgot. We have, my phone is dead. My phone is dead, so I can't even give you MSRPs or anything. You know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna go old school. I used to actually do this without my phone, without anything, and I used to not customize my FabFitFun box. So I used to not customize it because I used to like the, if you go watch one of my old FabFitFun videos, I pull something out and I have no idea. I have no idea. You could customize it back then, and I still was like, I'm not gonna customize it. I'm gonna let them surprise me. Insane, I know. Who was she? 
now I research every single thing. I started researching like crazy and then I got obsessed with the researching and now that benefits you guys. Not this time, definitely next time. I know I said that last time, but we're gonna do it next time. We are not breaking our laptop ever again. Um, I'm getting it a very protective case, even if it makes it heavier. So I used to just pull items out and be like, oh my gosh, this is cool. And like have a reaction on camera. So I feel like you're kind of going to get old school unboxing because I don't know the order or anything. We're just going to talk about them. Grace and Stella. This is an eye mask. So by the way, I almost didn't customize. I contacted customer service the day after customization and I was like, oh no, I forgot about customization. What can I do? And they let me customize via like the chat box. So she was just like, here are your options. Tell us which ones you would like. And it worked. I went back and checked in like the back part of it and it was all the things that I wanted. Purple, thank goodness. I was gonna say pink, but I don't know if it's looking purple to you. It's definitely purple to me. It's like lilac-y purple. Oh, there, I think that color's better than when I hold it up close. I use it hot actually when I have migraines, which I think some people prefer cold when they have migraines, but I like the heat. Like, I don't know why it just, it's like com comforting. I don't know, does anybody else get migraines? They are awful. Um, usually I can tell when they're about to happen. Like I have a feeling before they happen and then I can take medicine and then they don't happen. But if I'm asleep and it just starts and I wake up with a migraine, there's nothing I can do except sit in a dark room and like nurse myself. Like I said, sometimes I can prevent it. But one of the things is to put warm on my head like that. So instead of over my eyes, I wear a cross and this can be heated in the microwave 10 to 15 seconds in order to make it warm. It could also be put in the freezer 10 to 15 minutes. Some people prefer cold when they have migraines, they get like water and you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but you can put it, make it cold and these little beads will become cold and then you can put it over your eyes or on your forehead or whatever you need. Um, I prefer to use it on my forehead than my eyes just because the shape is like, I have big eyes though. and. I also feel like they're kind of, I don't know, do you think they're like too spread apart? When you're in grade school and people make fun of you for something, uh, you look at it for the rest of your life. So if it was like people made fun of your nose, you look at your nose for the rest of your life. Like that's the first thing you look at when you look in the mirror. So that's how I am about my eyes. But I feel like this is not like the most comfortable shape for my eyes. Like I like bigger, flatter, like straight across ones. But I do use these on my forehead and I had a different one, but it was pink. So I'm so happy because now I have a purple one instead of a pink one. I was pretty scared when I opened it because it looked kind of pink and then I was like, what? Did it just look wrong in the photo? But then now that it's pulled out, it matches my nails and my nails are like a lilac lavender color. I wonder if this is gonna end up being an even longer video because of, you know, all this talking. <laughs> Next up I have from Fenty Skin. So this is a tool and I cream. I did spoil the first category and this was in the first category. I think I did. I mean, I think that this was in the first category. Oh my gosh. Oh, this little tool. Not exactly what I expected, but glides on so easy. You could probably also put this in the refrigerator too to make it even colder. Just be careful because eyes are very sensitive. I really, really agree with a lot of ingredients in this product. Go watch my spoiler video because I don't want this video to become crazy, crazy long, but I'm really excited to see how it works. Uh, there were good and bad reviews. Also, it has fragrance for an eye serum, um, which is the one thing I did not like, but it has a lot of fragrance ingredients. Doesn't have a strong fragrance though. It doesn't just have fragrance, it also has some like ingredients that are fragrance ingredients, like that's what they're made for. So that's why I thought it's gonna smell really strong. It actually doesn't really smell very strong, but still fragrance is so unnecessary, especially if you're not even getting scent out of it. What's going on here? I hope I didn't lose my sense of smell. <laughs> I'm assuming I didn't lose my sense of smell when I got sick. I don't know. I have really good eye health right now, so I just, I just got another one. Do I have a reason? No, no, I do not. Next, I got something from Amika. I love Amika. They have a recycle program and like all the good things. The, these are very strongly scented usually as well. This is their Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. Now this got some, 
not great reviews and some great reviews. You know, I took a chance. If you're gonna take a chance, you might as well take a chance in a subscription box because if you hate it, you didn't pay full price. So I took a chance just because some of the good reviews looked really good. And I have, you guys don't normally see it curly, but I have curly hair. And so hydration is always like in need. Their packaging is also so cute. There's this little like skull right here that I just can't get over. But let's smell test it. Yeah, it's kind of old lady scented and I feel like that's what I think Amika smells like. Like older, like traditional perfumes, legacy perfumes. Um, I don't know what I would consider old, but like this reminds me of going to my grandma's house. So when I was little, I don't know what, how old my grandma was, but this is what she smelled like. <laughs> that's a weird, like, it's just, that's the memory it triggers is, you know, grandma's house. Those aren't usually my favorite. They're kind of like powdery and floral. You know what I mean? Powdery, like baby powdery and floral. That's that kind of scent that I'm talking about. If you're a grandma, I'm not talking about you. You're cool. You smell great. Um, <laughs> it's my specific grandma or grandma's. The next thing I got is from Katie Keim. Let's open this up. I forgot to mention that Amika, the brand that I just opened, is a Leaping Bunny certified brand. So that's even better than cruelty free. And then Fenty Beauty is a cruelty free brand. These are so beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is for berries. I was gonna keep them in my refrigerator with berries in them, or tomatoes, um, if I do it outside. But my kitchen is basically blue, yellow and then like a little bit of gold everywhere so every time i see blue things i have to have them which we actually got a lot of blue kitchen stuff in these boxes i need to rub this in because maybe i should have put it in my actual hair um i keep getting it on the boxes and such uh next up i guess i think this is the section where i didn't know what to choose and i chose a beach towel i go to the beach a lot i live like 12 minutes max from a beach. Um, I work maybe like eight minutes from a beach, maybe even less. I don't know, but I live and work very, very close to the beach. And I love going to the beach starting like March, which is now starting now <laughs> all through like October, November. It does not get that cold for us until like middle of November. So it's always beach time. Like you can always go to the beach. That's the one benefit to living in SoCal. So anyways, I love a good beach towel, especially one that's like aesthetically pleasing. And this one's a circle and just like a fun orange color. It has these florals all over it. I was torn on not getting this or getting this, but there was nothing else I think in that section. I don't remember what was in that section to be perfectly honest, but there was nothing else that really was like, oh, I have to have it. But the reason I was torn is because I have two other new beach towels that I bought recently that haven't been to the beach yet. So I was like, do I need three beach towels that haven't been to the beach yet? Like I probably should maybe cut down on my beach toweling, but we will after this one because it's discounted and it's so cute and it's a circle. Come on, that's like special. That's different. I think we have one more item. One more item. So this box you can get between six and eight items. So it's six if the sixth customization you choose a single item and it's eight if you choose one of the bundles. They like sometimes bundle a few things together. In my case, I did not bundle anything together. I have six items. So this is the least amount, but that doesn't actually affect MSRP because the one item is sometimes more expensive than the bundles of multiple items. So you might end up with a more expensive box with six items and a less expensive box with eight items. So it's up to you. They have some flexibility. This is if you are annual, you get to customize it all the way through. I also don't know what is number six, but I'm assuming it's either this or the towel just based on the quality of the other products. So what I have is Tula Brightening Treatment Triple Vitamin C Serum. So this does have three types of vitamin C 
and it has one that's a little more stable, a one that's a little less stable, and then one that is a powerhouse that kind of pushes the other two to be more effective. I really wish that I was able to completely do the spoilers because this is something I was very excited about. I do like the brand Tula. You have to be careful though because they have this probiotic superfoods, so um, very triggering to allergies and sometimes people's skin is sensitive to the probiotics. Mine is not. I have had really good luck with other Tula products, but it's kind of like you either do or you don't. Again, get it in a box, try it out if you don't like it, or if one of their products doesn't work for you, I would probably like steer clear of the others as well because they have kind of like similar bases. It is a cruelty-free brand. A lot of influencers like are paid by Tula to represent them, so I don't love reading all the reviews and everything on this because... I don't know. I feel like there are some fake reviews out there, but I have had a good experience and I know some other FabFitFun subscribers have with some of the Tula in the past as well. You gotta be careful. Vitamin C also is already kind of irritating. Um, so if you have sensitive skin, vitamin C is typically not sensitive skin friendly. This one has, like I said, three forms. One of them is better for sensitivity and then the other one is a little bit more potent and then it has the third one that kind of like, I don't know how else to describe it except boosts the other two. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but yes, it is also its own form of vitamin C, but it's really like helping the other two vitamin Cs be their best vitamin C selves, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna open this up because it is gonna be in a little dropper, which, how cool is this? And so you push the air out of it first by pushing this button down, then it fills it up. How do I do this? I want it on this side so it doesn't conflict with the other side. Also, when you have vitamin C, you want a container where it limits sunlight and oxygen because vitamin C oxidizes and you don't want to, you know, make it not work anymore. Has a little bit of an herbal scent to it. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me with Tula. They use a lot of natural ingredients. This also has turmeric in it, so there's some color to it. And you might think that's from the vitamin C, but it probably is from the turmeric instead. It has like chicory, um, it had mango in it. There's a lot of those types of things as well. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head because I haven't re-looked at the ingredients in a minute. I'm excited to try this. So vitamin C works really good for discoloration, which is something that I need. That's why it's called brightening drops. I have always, actually, I haven't had an issue with acne in about a year. So that means my life is going well because whenever I am very stressed or something bad happens to someone I love or things like that, you can tell on my face. So maybe I've been, you know, centering myself a little bit more. I've also invested in my skincare a lot, but even in the past when I did that, I would still get, you know, anxiety and stress breakouts, but I feel like I've been doing pretty well recently. I don't have any wood to knock on, but there was some residual scarring and that is almost all gone too, but I always use vitamin C drops because I have very easy pigmentation. There's a lot of melanin in my skin, so when something happens, it like scars easier than not. That is my box. Let's do a quick, what in the world is this? You know what? I know exactly what it is. So, haha. Um, I get the mystery bundle. It's a mystery bundle that they send every single time because it's one of those refills. That means I just get it every time. I don't know why they paid to ship it separately. Usually they ship it together, but I was like, there's no way I have a shop order. I've not shopped in the shop. Also, I'm a little shook that they use this entire box for that. Waste, so much waste. Oh my gosh, we hate that. The first thing I have, by the way, when you get it as a refill, it's $14.99, or it was for me. Somebody told me there's one for $19.99 now, so the price might have gone up. Uh, maybe they don't have $14.99 anymore, but it still charges me $14.99. Ooh, this is cute. So this is from Bandeau, and the back already says $28 as MSRP. Um, I don't ever think Bandeau stuff is like the exact MSRP that they say they are, but this is a stainless steel thermal mug that says going places. Um, oh my gosh. I actually so love that because I travel so much. That's like, you know, my, one of my loves. Okay, there we go. Uh, so it says going places, but also, you know, it can go both ways. It can be like going places, like I'm going places or going places, like I'm going places. You know what I'm saying? And I love the color because it's not pink. It is lilac. We have a theme here and everything's matching my nails. And I feel like I did this on purpose, but I didn't. Two more items. So this one comes with three items. Mystery bundles in the past have had like four. Um, some of them had even more than four. 
Catherine and I used to do mystery bundle battles and when I get back on my game and start doing, you know, every Sunday, I'll ask her to do it again because I miss her a lot. But <laughs> I've been busy and I'm just starting to get work-life balance again. Next thing is from Skin Chemist London. I don't think this is a cruelty-free brand. This is caffeine. Caffeine, pure caffeine by face serum anti-aging tighten and smooth what kind of caffeine is it glycerin phenoxyethanol caffeine so just caffeine okay so nothing in here that's like tells you like what plant or anything comes from i'm not super stoked on this but you know caffeine is good for your skin i also don't think this is a cruelty free brand i don't know why i don't think that i think i'm just like it's just triggering in my head that it's not. So it might've been a past research and it's just so long ago that I'm like, why do I think that? The last item are these really cute scrunchies. They're very spring and three different colors. I probably, I mean, I probably would use all three of these. Also from Summer and Rose. So Summer is one of the daughters of Katie, one of the founders. And so the in-house brand is named after her. And then there was another one named after her other daughter. And it's escaping me what it is right now. So I've made a huge mess, but we are all done. And you got my rambly version of an unboxing where I don't have any MSRPs. I don't know how much to tell you what this box is worth. We'll put that on screen too. What was the total? Let's add it up right here. Do, 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 you think that was a good deal or not? I think it's a good deal. I don't even have to look it up. I already know uh, that it is a good deal. It's always a good deal. That is actually my favorite thing about subscription boxes, especially these that you can now fully customize. In the past, many you could not fully customize. And so some of the things went to trash. At least this way I can, even if I don't want something, I can look at the options and pick something that a friend might want. So then I can gift it. And that's definitely helpful. Uh, I used to have some boxes where I didn't know any of the items coming and that's exciting, but there are items that just sit and never get used. So I do like the, the new, you get to pick everything. That is also what I do for my own business is you get to pick everything. So that way people have choices. Choices are important. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what your favorite item in my box was, or if you got a box and you hate all my items and you want to tell me what your favorite item that you got in your box was, that's also fine too. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.